SE68 expands Swift's use of self so it refers to the containing type when used inside classes, structs, and enums. This is particularly useful for dynamic types, where the exact type of something needs to be determined at runtime. As an example, consider this code. Class Network Manager. Class var maximum active requests int return for func print debug data print maximum network requests string interpolation network manager dot maximum active requests that declares a static maximum active requests property for a network manager and adds a print debug data method to print the static property. That works fine right now, but when network manager is subclassed, things become more complicated. For example, we might say class throttle network manager inherits from network manager. Override class var maximum active requests is an int return one. That subclass changes maximum active requests so it allows only one request at a time. But if we call print debug data, it will print out the value from its parent class. Let manager equals throttled network manager. Manager dot print debug data. That should print out one rather than four. And that's where SE68 comes in. We can now write self with a capital S to refer to the current type. So we can rewrite print debug data to this self dot maximum active requests. This means self works the same way as it did for protocols in earlier Swift versions.